Reif explains it's bright. We've grown by almost 20% over the last five years. UWGB's chancellor reacts to some of the changes around the state and the future of their locations. They've been doing business together for about 30 years without a formal agreement. But now things have changed. I'm Olivia Akery, your Appleton Neighborhood Reporter, with a look at why the city wanted a formal agreement with Gold Cross Ambulance Services. It's been voted Haunted House of the Year, but what really goes into terror on the Fox? I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman, connecting with the dedicated people who make this haunted house a reality. Meteorologist Lauren Larson. We're seeing a little bit of some rain on our radar as we were in the earlier morning hours. It's now mostly passing over the lake, but as we look further out to the west, there are a little bit more showers headed our way, and we can still expect some rain as we go later into the afternoon hours across the entire area. Waking up to mild temperatures right around 50 degrees for the entire area, which is even warmer than we started off yesterday morning above normal. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm McLeod Hageman here at Terror on the Fox in Ashwaubenon, where one of Wisconsin's favorite pastimes when it comes to the Halloween season is really coming to fruition. I'm going to be sharing a behind the scenes glance here in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at today's top stories. A Kakana woman's death over the weekend is now being investigated as a homicide. 